dumb. This is from the uh, mayor, Philly elect, um, tomorrow, which is today. Philadelphia City Council will vote to ban wearing the ski masks in certain places. The bill will allow police to stop and find, like stop and frisk, stop and find people $250 for wearing ski masks. Uh, the mayor says, or the mayor elect says, another step in the right direction of safety and changing the culture in the streets of Philly. No, it's not. It's stop and frisk. I think wearing push icedies are dumb. As a firearms owner, as a firearms instructor, I think it's stupid. However, I do not think that the wearing of clothes is something that police should be able to stop young men for. You're asking for more violations of the Fourth Amendment rights. You just got the job. If you actually want to stop crime, train people, work with us at the Solutionary Center, train people on imminent threat, conflict resolution, de-escalation, being safe, responsible firearms owners, and avoiding crime. These are the things that actually stop and decrease crime, not asking police to violate citizens. And then don't blame uh, District Attorney Krasner. Don't blame him because he says, I'm throwing this case out and this fine because you violated this person's right. Imagine... If someone said, if you're wearing a hijab, a Muslim woman or man or someone wearing a covering, we don't want that type of article of clothing. So we're going to have police stop and fine you for wearing that type of clothing. It's wrong. I want everybody I'm going to pull up to city council to give their mind on this. Again, I think that the Pooh Shiesty masks are stupid, but this is the same government that a few years ago required everyone to wear a mask. And now they're saying we're going to fine mostly young black men, let's keep it real, young black men for wearing a mask. It's the flip flop charging people $250, unnecessary interactions with law enforcement, and it does not improve law enforcement community relations. If you're in Philadelphia today, please come up to the city council meeting. I'll put the content in the bottom of here when the actual meeting is, but let's vote against this. This is wrong. It's a violation of privacy, due process, Fourth Amendment, all of these different things, and it does not really help.